friends, welcome back to my channel. Say hi friends. Oh, you're showing them your thing from Halloween. So cool. So I know I've talked all about the fact that we are building a house in Missouri, but we have just arrived to this base, which is actually in Illinois. So the base is Scott Air Force Base. It's located in Illinois, but we are going to be eventually living in Missouri where our house is being built. The only issue right now is our house hasn't been built yet. <laughs> we are in the building process. So we just arrived here like two days ago. We are currently staying on base in the Patriots on base in the Patriots Landing housing. It's a three bedroom, two and a half bath house. Um, it's pretty nice, the square footage and everything is bigger than our England house. If you have seen that house tour, I'll link it down below. Um, but like I said, we were staying here while our house is being built, so we'll probably only be here for about five months. So this is very temporary, but I still want to give you guys a quick house tour, technically an empty house tour. We do have some things in here. Um, we have not had our household goods delivered yet. They are coming tomorrow, which we are so excited about. We have been without our household goods for four months I think, so we're super excited for that. But we just have everything that we packed in our car. So you'll see like our air mattress up or our clothes out a little bit, but this is really mostly an empty house tour. So without further ado, let's get into this house tour at Scott Air Force Base. All right y'all, so when you come through the front door, there's like a screen door and then the regular door, which is really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. It's definitely fall outside, which is beautiful. When you come in, you first see this door right here, which leads out to the garage, the stairs, and then you see our living room, which Elodie, Ben, and Stella are all chilling in right now while I do this little house tour. So first I'll show you guys our garage, which is to the left. It's like a one car garage. It has a light in it, which is nice. This is what it looks like. Elodie's scooter's already in here. I'm not sure what this is. Ben seemed to know. I guess he put like your gas and propane in there maybe. Not exactly sure. Um, it's a decent sized garage. This house definitely has more storage than our England house. And then this right here is another storage area in the garage with a light, which I love. I mean, this thing is a really good size. It's a couple shelves, it's right under the stairs. I cannot wait to be able to fill this space up with our storage. Come on, let's go. We have to show them more. Okay, so going back in the house, all right, so to the right of the front door when you walk in, there is this closet. It's just a little coat closet. So we have some shoes on the bottom, my diaper bag, and then you can hang some coats up there, which we don't have our hangers yet, which is why our coats are up there. It's a decent size. And then this, of course, is the living room. Again, it's a very decent size, much bigger than our English house, so we are spoiled for size here in storage, which is really nice. Nice big windows with the pretty fall trees. We made that corner, Elodie's little play corner right now with her toys. Another big window over there. A little cutout to the kitchen over there. And then if you walk straight ahead, this is where you're getting into the dining room. Dining room area. That obviously leads out to our back patio, which I'll show you in a second. And then this is our kitchen. So nice wide angle living room and kitchen. If you walk in here, it's definitely dated. Not our favorite kitchen by any means, but like I said, this will do for five months. It's very temporary for us. A refrigerator, cabinet, stove, dishwasher, sink, another window, cabinets up top. And then we have the little window to the living room, which I don't like how the window looks, but I like that I can at least see through from the kitchen while I'm cooking. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Um, instead of this just being one complete wall, you know? So that is nice. Now, if you go out of the kitchen, let me show you the backyard real quick. Sign glass doors. This house came with the blinds, but it did not come with a with any covering for the sign glass doors. So I would recommend if you're moving into Patriots Landing here at Scott Air Force Base to be prepared to buy like a cheap curtain rod and some drapes, which we did very cheaply. Um, we may upgrade them in a little bit, but this is just to get us by right now. This is the backyard has a nice paved cat patio, which is really nice. And this is what it looks like backyard. You do get half of the shed and you share it with your neighbor. So it's a decent little backyard, especially for Stella. It definitely works for us. So there's the sign glass door. Now if you come over here, this is the laundry room and the half bath downstairs. Shauna's, that's Shauna's palace. My palace? The laundry room. Oh, rude. 
<laughs> okay, so if you go to the right, here is the half bath. And something I did notice immediately about these bathrooms, it's a little cringeworthy. I'm not very tall, I'm about 5'5", five, five, and the sink is so low. And the same with this toilet, super low, so that is very odd. Um, ben barely fits in the shower upstairs, but again, this will do for now. It's very simple, has a little towel rack and stuff. Um, this is, I'm guessing, just kind of for like the, your extra paper goods and stuff. I may put some pantry items over here or get a shelf here to put pantry items if I don't have enough space in the kitchen, but I'm not sure yet. And then this is your laundry room area. So that's just garbage from our trash can that we bought, but this is your laundry hookup over here. Another shelf. Obviously, that is your, I don't know, power box fuse box, I think it's called fuse box. <laughs> but it's a really good size laundry room, which is really nice. Come back out here, and then you go to your right, it's the living room, and then we're gonna go upstairs. All right, so right upstairs. When you first get upstairs, you see this bathroom, which is going to technically be Elodie's bathroom, and if you go to the right, it is our bedroom. So they do have a master bedroom. It is a good size bedroom. So this is a queen air mattress. So you can picture a little bit of how big this room is. It's a queen air mattress and then Elodie's little twin mattress over there. We, we're sleeping together in the same room right now because it's just going to be too much to separate Elodie for the time being. They do have fans in here with lights, which is nice. Another big window. And then to your left, when you walk into the master bedroom, you have the master bathroom and then the master closet. So again, this bathroom, it's very short, as you can tell. And then the toilet, the shower is very simple. The shower is actually, again, very short. Ben doesn't really fit this, but again, it's temporary. Towel rack. And then this is our closet, which is a little, little bit messy, I will be honest with you. It has a light in it. But that is a closet. It is definitely a decent sized closet. I mean, these two suitcases are huge to just, again, give you some idea of sizing. And then they have some shelves over here. Nothing special, but is definitely doable. And I do like the size of everything. Now, if you come out of the master bedroom door, again, you go to your right. And this is Elodie's bathroom. All the lighting is very yellow in here, so I apologize about that. Our house that we're building is going to be so much nicer and all light light, which I'm so excited about. They do have medicine cabinets in the bathrooms. Um, these doors do not pull out, but these do open for storage space down here. Little towel rack, pretty similar to our bathroom. And then here's her towel rack, but then this is the linen closet for the bathrooms, which is a decent size. Oh, I found an LED. Hi, big girl. <laughs> okay, you come out, there's the stairs. Now if you turn left when you come up the stairs, this is the other way. This, man, this is a big door and I was excited thinking this was a closet. It's not very boring and ugly. So yeah, that's unfortunate, but it is what it is. All right, so this is the bigger of the two bedrooms. So Elodie's going to be in this bedroom more than likely because it's the bigger one. Again, there's a fan in this room a big window which is nice and then a closet i have some things in this closet but it's a pretty decent sized closet i would say come out of led's room and then this is the third bedroom this is a smaller one so we'll probably just use this one for storage and such um no fan in this room but it does have a light of course another window and then this closet is, again, pretty decent size, especially because of how it's shaped. It goes back a little bit farther. So not a bad size room overall. Again, this house is definitely bigger than our England house, so that is nice, but the house that we're building is going to be even bigger than this house, which is so exciting. And then we'll go back downstairs. All right, y'all, so that is our house tour of this house on Patriots Landing at Scott Air Force Base that will be in temporarily until our house is done being built. We are excited to be here. So far, we really like the community. Last night was Halloween, and the community really came out, did socially distance Halloween festivities and trick-or-treat, which was really nice. So I do have good first impressions of the community here. Like I said, this house is a little bit rickety here or there. Um, I definitely think it was built in the 70s or 80s and not really updated since, but it will do for now. So if you guys are moving to Patriots Landing or this 
Scott Air Force Base area, welcome. And make sure to let me know down in the comments so I can say hi to you and welcome you to the base also. If you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If this was informative or helpful or just interesting to you, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. My lighting just changed because of my toddler shutting the door. <laughs> Um, if you're new to our channel, we would love to have you stick around and subscribe. Like I said, we are in the middle of a house building process, which is so exciting. I have some house updates coming at you guys really soon. So make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below. And when you do subscribe, make sure to let me know that you have just subscribed down in the comments so I can welcome you and say hi and thank you for joining us. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and we can't wait to talk to you soon. Bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs>